a moment of meditation. Joy of Zion Church. Let's confess together. I am a spirit. I have a soul. I live in a body. I am a new creation. God loves me. God blesses me. God makes me righteous. God gives me peace that the world cannot give. I am grateful. I am thankful. I am delighted. I am happy. I am joyful. I am okay. I am doing good. In Christ, I am a person with overwhelming confidence to win in any situation and circumstance. I am a victor, not a victim. In Christ, I am a person who has the ability to control my inner climate, regardless of external circumstances. I am a spirit having the spirit. In Christ, I am a person who has the ability to maintain a positive attitude in a negative situation. I am blessed to be a blessing. I will never, never, never be the same again. It's about your mind. And be not conformed to this world, but be it transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 When you were born again, you were imparted with the very life and nature of God at its best, and it can't be improved. Plus that, you were given the very righteousness of God to which you can't add. Also, you receive the Holy Spirit in its full measure, nothing missing or left out. Furthermore, you are inside the kingdom. You are a bona fide heavenly citizen now. Philippians chapter 3 verse 20 and IV. If all receive the same nature of God and the same Holy Spirit, we are born into the same kingdom and dealt the same measure of faith. So why the disparity in our lives and in our research? The reason must then rest in something else the power and use of our individual mind. If you are going to change, if you are going to see another you, a more influential, effective, powerful you, you must change your way of thinking. There must be a significant change in your mind. Then you will become a Christian or received. The Holy Spirit doesn't mean your reasoning will change. That effort is your responsibility. As read in our theme verse, God gave us the responsibility to change our way of thinking, to renew our mind with the Word of God. You have to literally submit yourself to the Word to change your mind and give you a new way of thinking. It doesn't matter that a Christian is quoting scriptures, as long as those scriptures haven't affected his mind, he's not going to be different. That's why we wrote the book, The Power of Your Mind. The purpose of that book is in the title. Everything about your life, including your Christian growth, has a lot to do with the use of your mind. So ingest God's word into your mind. Feed and meditate on the word. The guaranteed impact will be a transformation in your whole being that will result in increased manifestation of the glory of God in your life. Success, excellence, Victory, dominion, and abundance will be the hallmark of your daily life. Hallelujah! Confession I am constantly transformed by the renewing of my mind with the Word. I yield myself to the ministry of the Word, getting my spirit inundated with divine truth and my mind elevated to think kingdom thoughts. I have a new mindset resulting in increased manifestation of the glory of God in my life. The world has given me the mindset of success, excellence, victory, dominion, and abundance. Hallelujah! I hope so much Jesus be inside you and covers you today. Have a glorious day or have a glorious night. See you tomorrow.